All right, guys, they're playing a Riven top lane into a Mordekaiser. Um, today we have two things planned. Uh, first thing, we're actually playing with the yellow Chroma on the Battle Bunny Prime skin. This is actually the first time of me playing with this Chroma. And honestly, I think it is so sick, man. I've actually never seen anyone playing with this Chroma. And it's my first time playing it. That's kind of nice. Um, either way, the plan this game is uh, we're going to be playing with the first strike. We're going to be farming on my opponent, getting gold every time we go for a trade. So, in short, we got first strike, a magical, futures market, cosmic, nimbus, and transcendence. Yeah, I was like, we're noting, we're playing into a matchup which a lot of you guys don't like. Me personally, I kind of like this one. There's... Um, a lot of outplay potential in this matchup because you can sidestep Mordekaiser Q's ease. It's honestly not that hard to do either. Like you just sidestep using your shield. You start grab. Okay. That's interesting. Wait. Hmm. Took distance. Okay. I'll take my W here. Either way, starting with the pressure. I find it interesting that this guy start E. The second ESC now. Interesting. Suppose he probably took it so he can avoid the fight level one, which is not exactly efficient, if you ask me here. But interesting strat. They got a cane in the in the jungle. I'm just gonna shove this out with the intention of. Alright, he's gonna hit it. With the intention of going uh, for the river camp, maybe a ward at the blue. There you go. It's three men, so Kane should be up there now. Let me check it out. <clears throat> GG, this game is over. <laughs> Oh man, that was beautiful. The timing was insanely good. <laughs> Double buff. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I bet you like that game must be very tilted currently. <laughs> Last tray. I still have my potion. I'll use the first one now. Ah, got hit by it, but it's, it's okay. I'm shielding off the Q. We'll have to use my secondary potion. <laughs> Seems like the Kane is pretty mad right now. <laughs> He's coming for a gank immediately. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I think that's gonna be a kill. Yeah, nice. He's got no uh, no flash, I believe. I'm not sure anymore. Oh, he's using. Oh, he got him. Nice. That was so good. Oh, and oh, that follow beer. Okay, I really like this. Um, yeah, sure. We probably we we definitely entered for that. By the way. Um, but we got like two kills out of that because my jungle got like two. So that's definitely worth 10 out of 10. Kane died twice. We took that double. And look at my jungle now. Like there's such a big difference, bro. And on top of that, like the wave is not being touched by Volibear. He actually let the wave shove into me. So Mordekaiser lost even more XP now. Like that's a really sick play right there. Not bad. By the way, this might just be one of my favorite Chroma versions right now. I really like it. There's been a lot. Ah, oh, I missed that one. There's been a, uh, a time where I really enjoy playing with the yellow version of the Battle Bunny skin. Like the, uh, the basic version of the Battle Bunny. I. Um, let's see if I can hold him here. I'm level 6. Hmm. But uh, now playing with this Chroma for the first time, I actually kind of like it.
Yeah, it's fine, whatever. He gets away, sure. I'm just gonna shove this out. <clears throat> I kinda like it. I think I like this one way more than the Battle Bunny version now. Might be just one of my favorite skins now. <clears throat> I always really enjoyed the Battle Bunny uh, skin line. Um, but never been a fan of the Battle Bunny Prime version. Well, I did always like it, but it's not been my favorite version of, of like most of the skins. But never really got to try the Chromas at all. But Chromas definitely make a huge difference in the skin line. They they make it they make the skin ten times better because you have variety. Let's go Warhammer. I want to go for Ruby Crystal. There you go. But yeah, honestly, like Chromas make the skin so much better. I just find it very unfortunate that you actually have to pay so much RP to even get those Chromas. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, it supports Rito games, I guess. Sometimes I feel like uh, the default skin is just made worse than the um, so that the chroma stand out more. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like they do it on purpose. <laughs> Let's see. I could go for a rotation in uh, in mid. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Oh, he's staying around apparently. There's no ward though. I'm gonna see if I can kill Victor here. Wait a second. Okay, this guy is definitely dead. Nice. A very long chase, but I would say it's uh, it's worth it. Definitely worth it. Let's push this out. I'm gonna stay mid lane. I'm gonna let Yasu rotate back top so I can take blades here for free. Just smart thinking here. <clears throat> Why go top if I can just take everything in mid? That's just more efficient for me. There you go. Honestly, now that I see this Chroma on Battle Bunny Prime, why have I not played all the other Chromas? I just come to realize I've never played a single Chrome on Better Bunny Prime. Now, I won't lie to you guys. I, I'm not a big spender. I never actually charge any RP in this game. I never buy RP. The only time I bought RP was like one month ago, which is the first time in like seven years. I actually never buy RP. Um, I got this Chroma from someone off my Twitch chat because he gave me the new uh, the new Rifted skin. The, uh, how's it called? Broken Convenient or something like that. And then he also gave me like 10, uh, around like 10 years of RP. So that's how I got these Chromas. Usually I buy Chromas from the Blue Emporium, which happens like once every year. But there's always a time period where you're unable to like purchase the Chromas. Like you have to wait like one or two years. I'm not exactly sure like how long, but there's a couple years that you have to wait for. Oh, that still hits. Oh, I still got him. So yeah, like that's how I've always managed to get my Chromas for all the Riffin skins. I uh, never actually charged any RP at all. That's my tactic, you know. <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff you can get in League without spending any money. If, you, if you're being smart, there's a lot of ways you can get them. Riot has a lot of ways you, you can get something um, if you wait over time. If that makes sense. It's good ways to do it. 
Man, we've been farming gold on Victor and Mordekaiser. Not too much, though, because, uh, unfortunately, we haven't got too many trades off of them. Every time we all in, we get a kill for free. But we have been farming some gold on them. Pretty nice. I want to see if I can get this game here. It's, it's, it's about to spawn. Got it. There's gonna be a fight here, so I'm gonna go there real quick. Actually, it might not do it because Victor's pathing back top. Apparently, they're going for a lane swap because I've been staying mid lane all this time, which makes perfect sense, kind of. Another catch. The only thing, and I and I need to point this out. I think this might just be one of my favorite skins right now. But the only thing I don't like about Battle Bunny Prime is the ultimate. It's the only thing. I never enjoyed the ultimate. I actually like the ultimate off of. Uh, the original skin line way more. But yeah, that's something tiny. I don't care about how ultimate looks like on the skin. I don't care about it. It's fine. Like you're only ulting like once every like 60 seconds and you're it, I mean, let's be honest. If you're using ultimate, you're not even watching your skin. You're you're actually playing the game. <laughs> so yeah, it's whatever. I like the uh, I like the the um, the way how, you know, what she looks like now. I like it. Um, wait, I might go for a top rotate. It's not worth it because look at this wave here. Wait a second. And there we go. I had to fix mid lane. If I decide to go top lane right now and kill the Mordekaiser, I would end up losing the entire wave in mid lane, and that's just not worth it. You don't want to lose waves in mid lane just for a rotation. Even if it works, it's not worth it because Mordekaiser is not worth anything, and XP is worth more. So I value the wave more. Hitting. How did I manage to fail that? That's a joke. How did I manage? <laughs> okay. Let's get the uh, let's get the red buff. There we go. I think I also grab this camp here just to be efficient. Now, I, I know what you guys are saying, like, Yo, Dave, why are you taking those jungle games? You're not a jungler. You're supposed to be top lane or mid lane farm there instead. Well, no, actually, this is really good because I'm being efficient here. If I take the camp, I'm back to full HP, got the gold, don't have to back. And on top of that, I'm getting this wave up here as well. So, it's all being efficient. Efficiency in this game is very important. You have no idea, like, how much of a difference it makes. Like, that's why jungle games, yeah, it's pretty bad for the jungle, but, like, it does actually push your lanes really far ahead in the game. And if they play consistently very good, and they barely make mistakes, yeah, your, your, your top lane's gonna carry the game, you know. Because we make leads, so... <clears throat> I mean, look at my farm right now. I'm, like, 168 CS at, like, 50 min. Like, that's crazy. And that's because we're being efficient with uh, how we farm and make plays. Let's go 
back. Let's go for black lever and might go for Hydra. I feel like doing it, but maybe spare Shojin. Have some low cooldowns, maybe. I'll take the portal here. We're going to be farming, not just to farm, but we're going to be farming champions. Check this out. Really? Kidding? Mm-hmm. That's unfortunate. I think he's still dead though. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad it worked out. I think we can probably outplay the Mordekaiser, but I am not gonna look for this at all. Again, we're just gonna be healing off of the jungle camps. I don't wanna go back. Is it good for me? Yes. Is it good for my jungle? No. Is it worth it? Yes. <laughs> it is, because I'm again I don't have to reset. So just being efficient. That's why lifesteal is like so good sometimes. What's going on here? Problem fixed. <laughs> well, he can go for the tower. I'm gonna go for a jungle camp. Actually, there's no jungle camp there. It spawned now, so you can take it. A very interesting question. I get that question from time to time. Hello, Davy. Why is he called Davy X3? Now, that's an interesting question. There's a history behind it. Though. Well, uh, first thing, Davy X3. My name, my real name, is Davy. So, but the, um, the X3 behind it is something that most of you guys don't know. Um, it's not anything special, um, but a little history. Wait, let me check if I can kill this guy. There you go. So... The way how my name was born was when I was a little tiny kid. I was like, I don't know, like five years old or something. Six years old, 70 years old. I don't know anymore. It's been too long ago. But I used to play a game called Maple Story back in 2005. I played it all the way up until 2012 until I quit the game because the game became stupid. Um, either way, it was like an MMO game. Um, basically you had a character and you had a name right underneath and everybody in that game always had X3 behind their name. Now the reason why was because it was literally a smiley face. That's it. Like, you were a very cool person in the game if you had X3 behind your name because... I don't know why. But yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, I took that name with me since I was a little kid and I never changed because this name was always available no matter what website I created an account on no matter what game I used to play on 
and no matter when it was released or I don't know, I could always use this name. There was no one that had this name, so I always kept it. Eventually made a YouTube channel, named it after DaveX3, Twitch, named it after DaveX3, all my socials, named it after two. That's how my name was born. It's literally a smiley face, nothing else. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. It's. I did try and change my my in-game name, I I suppose, as I grew older. But I always came back to this name right away. <laughs> but yeah, that's my history behind my YouTube name, and Twitch. Got him. That's the center right here. Yeah. I actually got two kills. I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, no. That's going to be such a sick play. I think I might still get him. I think I might. Maybe. Nah. Good play from Victor. He just walked around the tower. Actually, it worked really well. <clears throat> you know maple story is still around yeah man but the game sucks bro I'm, I'm never playing that game again it maple story in 2005 and what we have today are two complete different games it's uh the game is bad man you know why league of legends is fun it's because you have teammates and you're, you, you have a feeling like you're playing with people together, right? You have the option, you're always playing together. And that's why League of Legends is very addi addictive to a lot of people. Um, and why I played like 13 years later. You know, I played this game since season one. Like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an old player in this game. But... Um, it's just fun because you're always playing with people and I suppose that's what people are also looking for. But with MapleStory, that game, basically 2005, it was a game which was like, you always play with people together and as the, the game changed, it's now a kind of like an MMO which is like, it's completely based on single player. Like you're playing by yourself. You don't need people anymore. You see them but you, there's no... There's nothing, right? There's, I suppose you could call it a single player game. It's got no meaning anymore. And the, the game just sucks, you know? It's a lot, of, a lot of games do the same thing. Like World of Warcraft became this weird game. RuneScape became this weird game. They all change. Like, same thing happened to League of Legends. League of Legends completely changed over the years, but at least it's still fun. Like, the core concept is still there. Although, League is not the same anymore like it, like back in the day. Definitely not. If you compare Riffin to... from Season 3 to Riffin Season 13, you will not recognize the playstyle anymore, literally. Believe me, the champion is still the same. Riffin, it, Riffin has not changed at all, actually. It's completely the same from back in the day, but... The way how Riffin is being built right now, like a bruiser champion, and the playstyle, it's nothing like it used to be. Like... At all. Not, not even close. It, it, like, just for your imagination, Season 3 Riffin was like you built a uh, brotherizer um you built uh, uh it was oh, i gotta start thinking it's like 10 years ago you built hydra and you built last whisper and you built like a full assassin no tankiness at all, like zero tankiness. All you did was you built full damage and you just burst everybody like on like instantly. Like it was completely different. 
you would you could never get this much HP from a build back in the day. There was no way. It was all based around burst. So that's yeah, that's for your imagination, I suppose. That's what it looked like. <laughs> Yeah, this game is done. These guys are giving up. But yeah, if you ask me, like, what version do you like more? Season three, season 2, Season 3, Season 4 Riffin, or Season 13? I would definitely say Season 2, 3, 4 Riffin is more fun, in my opinion. But, um... Season 13 Riffin is also fun, like there's nothing wrong with it. That's why I still play, of course. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh no, I failed. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> but yeah, like... I prefer the old Riffin more from back in the day, but again, like League of Legends in Season 13 is... It's still fun, you know? It's just not the same anymore. What a mess of a game, like... I, I love how we're like holding a conversation here, like halfway in this game. I'm like 50% in this game and like 50% like talking about random stuff. <laughs> and somehow it's just a good game. I like it. Wait, I'm gonna have to make a play. I'm alive. Ah, that was gonna be sick. I like 50 HP or something. Wait. Hmm. Let's go for garage. I I want to go garage, but we can also go for Multi Mamortius, which is a solid item for Victor and Mordekaiser. But we could also add damage to it, but... Yeah, let's go for a garage. Let's just add damage to the build. I think that we don't need any more uh, magic resist. I don't think so. I think we can probably get away with just going full damage. Because the, the, the garage also provides ability hay, so it allows me to dash even more. But yeah, like, always interesting when people ask questions about, like, my name or, like, what I used to play. I, I have a big history of, of games I used to play before I played League of Legends back in the day. But all the games I used to play, they are all dead right now. Like, none of them has survived, unfortunately. Like, I used to play MapleStory. The game died. It still exists, but it died. I used to play a game called Combat Arms. It's completely dead. It still exists, but it's got like 50 people playing or something. I don't know. I used to play games on my PSP. Like, I spent like hours on it. The entire PSP has died because it became old. Because the internet connection stopped. I used to play on my Nintendo DS, like an FPS game. Completely died because the internet shut down. Like, and there's so many more that, that, that I used to play and they've all died. Because simply it's becoming old and they shut down the servers or like the game just dies out because it's like It's like not active anymore. I like I, I hate that about gaming them Like League of Legends will have the same faith one day Oh my gore drinker, no! Oh, I was about to heal like 1000 HP or something. <laughs> that was gonna be so good. I was like standing in position to make the right play right now. I, I regret the combo I, I did. Oh man. I regret my combo. If I cast my gore drinker just one second earlier, I would have killed all of them. That is so sad. Yeah, sure, they had more to remind her, but it... I don't think they had it before. I think she just bought it now. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, honestly, like... 
all the games I used to play, all the servers has been shut down. I think League of Legends will obviously have the same faith in the future. Like, this game will definitely last another five years, I'm pretty sure. There's no doubting that League will last uh, for the next years. It won't, it won't die out right now. It's been dying for a long time, but like, League is still... It's still got way too many people, and it's not... People will not stop playing this game. But like in like 10 years? Does League survive 10 years? I don't know. What do you guys think? Like leave it in the comments or in the Twitch chat. I'm curious to it. I don't, I don't think that League will last 10 years anymore. I doubt that, but maybe, I don't know. I'm very curious to what you guys think. Oh, this guy is definitely dead. I'll use the wall. Sidestep has failed. Gore Trinker! Uh, no! Ah! Oh, triple kill. That's the only thing we have. Feels bad, man. The kiting on Senna. Not bad. I think Volibear could probably finish it. We've been full build for a while. See if I can replace this with something else. I want something that will provide um, ability haste. <clears throat> Maybe I could just go for Hydra, I suppose. Because of the 25 ability haze. Hmm. I suppose we could do it. <clears throat> you guys think it will last 10 years? You're not sure if humans is about 10 years? Bro. What makes you think? <laughs> Something that I would really want to see in the future of League of Legends is like a classic version. That would be hilarious. Imagine like League of Legends classic, the season 2 experience or season 3 experience. <laughs> that would be hilarious, man. Ah, I felt my jump. Wait, let's shove this. Yasuo has only two items, by the way. It's kind of far behind. That's why this game is still a struggle. <clears throat> the Baron spawns very soon. This game definitely shouldn't be this hard, but yeah. Oh? He got caught up anyway. I need a red potion. Then I'll, uh, it's gonna be maxed out at that point. Well, we can go Baron. We don't need jungle. Well, yeah, Yasuo is was actually needed. This will not work. They're going for Baron. I don't think it's gonna work at least. Well, it's, it's actually working, okay. That's mind-blowing. 
unbelievable. They actually got Baron. I thought they would. They, I thought they got like three kills and they would rotate to Baron and they just steal it. Turns out they didn't. I need my ultimate again. We got like, uh, we got like 30 seconds to make a play. <clears throat> hmm. Kane's right behind us. And then we win. Anyway, this is uh, Riffin Top Lane with the first strike build. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube vid, and I'll see you next time. Peace.